Hello Stampers! Thanks for joining me today. I have a cute card for you today. This is actually quite peaceful looking and I'm using the new Lazy Days stamp set and dies bundle from Stampin' Up. Here's the stamp set. has all these things in it. Um, this would be great to like create a porch or a little outdoor scene in front of some, you know, a lake or something like that. Um, there's so many things you can do with it. And also, it has the dies that coordinate. And these are the Lazy Days dies. Have all of these pieces. Now, I use this piece here. It's like the front porch. But I'm using it as a pergola in my little scene here. But you could use it as a front porch or the pergola or there's a railing here um, to really create that porch look, rocking chairs, tables, you know, it got, die cuts quite a few different things, um, birdhouse, and a lot of these, of course, coordinate with and cut out the actual stamped image. And you have this wonderful bird that's landing, and I used him at the top of my little scene here. Got him to where he's going to land on my pergola. Anyway, that's what we're using today. And I pulled a go-to greeting stamp set out. And I just wanted this Thinking of You stamp. I just thought it would be pretty for this little peaceful scene. So I added that on there. And we're going to get going with our die cutting. Now, um, this plant here that I have going up the pole for the pergola... It is um, two pieces here, and these are dies from the Lazy Day die set. So those were easy to do, and I just cut them out of old olive. And then here is the front porch or the pergola part. Okay, and so I die cut this out of basic white. So we have those two images done and cut out, and now we're going to start on our main image panel. And I have a 3.75 by 4.75 piece of basic white here. I'm doing it portrait, not landscape, so we want it upright here. And I'm going to start. I have a circle cut out um, of a double layer of post-it note. Now I took two post-it notes and I just... Uh, punched a one inch circle. You can also die cut a one inch circle out of it, but out of the sticky part of the post it note. So it'll stick to your scene here. And I kind of try to figure out where I want that sun to be. I, I'm just going to lay this on here um, just to see where I want it. I know I want this, the bottom of the leg, about a half inch from the bottom. So I think I'm going to put it in about right here. And that way, um, the pergola covers it up just a bit. And anytime you can layer some objects in your scene, it gives you more depth. So I'm going to have my sun so it um, is covered up by this pergola just a bit. So that's where my sun is. And then we're going to get out some crushed curry. This is our lightest color in our background. You have to excuse me, I have a cold, and so you have to bear with my sniffles today. And I'm just going to take this crushed curry and a blending brush. I'm going to turn this sideways, and I'm just going to lightly go back and forth across this like this. And I'm going to come down pretty far to about a half inch from the bottom. Okay, so there's our crushed curry. Then I'm going to get out some pumpkin pie, get a little darker with our sunset here, and a blending brush. And then at just where the sun is, I'm going to go back and forth over it. So off the cardstock and on the cardstock here. And I'm going to bring it down just a bit into that right below it. Um, I'm doing this so that I know that my crushed curry is my lightest color. Then I want my pumpkin pie. Now when I remove this, that's going to be a white circle and I want to be able to use my crushed curry inside that sun 
and have it stand out. If I used, just used Crush Curry in the background and did the sun, it wouldn't stand out very well. So I want to get a little darker over that sun area. So that was pumpkin pie. And then I want some color up here at the top. And I'm going to bring in Starry Sky. Beautiful blue. I'm going to do that same thing just on the top here. And I'm going to come down into that pumpkin pie a bit. All about a half an inch. And then at the very top, I think I just want to get a little darker here. So I'm going to use a circular motion, a little more pressure. There we go. Got our sky going along here. So that was starry sky. Then we need some brown for our pergola to stand on. I have old olive here and I'm going to use a blending brush again. And I think I'm just going to use a circular motion across this bottom here. Uh, let's see, it's like Oh, an inch and a half from the bottom. You know, you could just guesstimate it. All right. Then I'm going to get some basic black out here. And a blending brush. I just want to put some darkness at the bottom half of this old olive area. This always makes it look like the sun is just really shining on the top of the grass. It gives you that look because you have some darkness down here. Okay, now we need our crushed curry back out. I'm going to remove my little sun mask here. And bring in my crushed curry brush again. And then I'm just going to add some of this crushed curry in the center of the sun. I kind of like to leave a lighter edge around it. So you put as much as you want in there. So that was crushed curry. All right, now we're going to put our pergola on here. And I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue for this. And as you see, we have a lot of this pergola is not going to be on the cardstock. So I'm kind of looking to see how much I need. Oh, it's just a little past this halfway point on this little loop here. So I'm just going to start um, putting some glue on here. Get my glue going. And I do this lightly, very lightly. And I don't do every little line or anything. I just kind of do the bottom edge, and the top edge, and then the pole. All right, and then we're going to add this on here. Like I said, I want to cover that sun up just a bit. And then I want to kind of look at this and see that it's straight across. And there is our pergola. I'm going to just take a pair of scissors here and cut this excess off, just flush with my panel. There we go. Coming right along, aren't we? All right, now we got our plants here. And there's a front and a back to this. Um, you're going to see that there are indents for the veins for the leaves on the front side. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of glue on a few of these leaves just to keep it on. I think sometimes people have a lot of trouble with glue because they just use too much of it. So I'm taking that plant right up to the top and down the leg of the pergola. I'm going to do the same here. Put some glue on this one. And 
And that's what I'm going to have coming up from the ground. So it makes sense. There we go. It's all right if it goes off the panel a little bit. That's not a big deal because we're going to have a panel behind this anyway. So there is that. And now I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to bring in my Memento Tuxedo Black again. I have this bird up here. And I'm going to stamp it at the above the pergola. I'm going to have to stand up here. There's my bird. And I have this hanging plant. This is a cute stamp. Be lots of uses for that. You can hang it on a tree limb. That would be cute. But I'm going to put it coming right off of this pergola. There we go. So there is my hanging plant. Got my bird in, and now I'm just going to put a sentiment in. Again, the sentiment, it came from the go-to greeting stamp set. Just gonna test it out here. It's always a good thing to test your stamps out. And I'm going to stamp it here below that plant. There we go. Thinking of you. All right, now we can do some coloring. First, I'm going to color the bird in. I have a white gel pen here. And I'm just going to color this bird in. I'm going around his eye. And this back wing I'm going to color in. And the front wing, I'm going to color the top just down to where it's feathered out at the bottom. And then I'm just going to add some lines here for the feathers. Here we go. I like that. So there's my little bird. And down here at the bottom, I always like to add some little dots on the ground. Just to represent like some flowers maybe that are growing in the grass. Just little patches of them. Um, different shaped patches. Here we go. And so that was the white gel pen for now. And let's get our plant, um, our hanging plant colored in. Now I'm going to use a light Starry Sky Stampin' Blend marker. I'm going to use the fine point here and just color this pot in. I just thought I'd bring in that Starry Sky to kind of coordinate with this color of the sky, plus we're going to have a panel that is Starry Sky too. So there is that, and I have an old olive. This is the light old olive marker. And I'm going to color in the leaves with this. This goes really quick. I'm not, you know, getting crazy detailed with this. I like quick cards. Get them done, right? Especially if you're doing multiples. Here we go. So we have our plant done there. And then I'm going to come back to this white gel pen. We have the sun here, and it's pretty bright. So I kind of want some highlights on these leaves. So on the side of the leaf that's facing that sun, I'm just kind of outlining part of the leaf, just adding some white to it. 
You don't have to do that, but I kind of like that. I'm putting a line where the bottom of the pot is. And you can add like a little stripe on your pot. I think that's cute. There we go. Now I only did the, the right side because that is the side that's facing the sun. So there is our panel all done. So we're ready to start putting this together. All the dimensions for these panels you can find down below this video. Just click show more. They're all there along with all of the product links for the products that I'm using today. They'll, it'll take you directly to my online store. Um, this bundle I'm using is brand new and it's in the new annual catalog. And you can get this bundle and save 10% um, on it. So pick them up together if you plan on doing it. Do the bundle. I have a link to both the bundle and the stamp set and dies separately. So we have a starry sky card base here and it's five and a half by eight and a half and I folded it in half to create my quarter card. And inside I added a basic white panel that's three and th three quarters by five. And then for the outside I just have a panel here that's three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And it's just one eighth larger than our main panel here. And I'm going to glue this on. And when I glue it on, I'm not going to center it. I'm going to bring it clear to the left edge. So you have a little of that white showing everywhere around it, kind of framing it in. And then I'm going to do the same when I put it on the front of the card. Add some love in this card. And I'm just going to put it on the left edge also where the crease of the card is. There we go. There is our card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you give it a try. It's a lot of fun and it's really pretty and I'm sure someone would appreciate knowing you thought of them today. Thanks for joining me. Toodles! Thank <laughs> you.